An estimated 2,000 children and 1,000 women are being held in camps and prisons in Iraq, Syria, and Libya because they are the sons, daughters, and wives of ISIS members. Most of these women and children are not charged with any crime. Tunisia has one of the highest numbers of foreign fighters who joined ISIS, and it also has one of the largest groups of women and children detained abroad. About 200 children and 100 women in these camps and prisons are Tunisians, and the conditions are squalid. There's not enough food, there's not enough health care, there's not enough shelter. Syria. The Tunisian government is concerned that some of these children may be security risks. It fears that these children may have been indoctrinated by ISIS, even those who are very young. More than half, according to the estimate of one civil society organization, are under the age of six. Many of these children are themselves victims of ISIS, and they need reintegration so that they can return to Tunisian society and lead normal, meaningful lives. The Tunisian government says it is a top priority to bring home these children, but so far it's only helped repatriate three children. What's happening with the Tunisians is part of a global problem. The fate of these children is one of the biggest challenges facing the international community since the fall of the so-called ISIS caliphate. What these children need most of all is to return to Tunisian society and live normal lives. معناتها لتو نطلب لنا أي واحد عنده ضمير إنساني أنه ينقذ للأولاد